The boys are back in town. What's up, Weezy? What it do? What it do? Back in the building. Back, baby. Back. What's up, Joe? How you doing, Joe? I'm all right. I'm making it. All right. Yep, yep. What's up, man? What's going on? All right. Give me your song of the week, dog. Song of the week is, uh, for me, it's Big Sean off the I Decided album, Oh Me. Oh Me. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. It's a sleeper. What mm-hmm. you got, Joe? I got two albums. No, oh, shit. Here you go, oh. cameraman. Listen to that Rhapsody. And listen to that Vince Staples. Those are two very good albums right there. That's right. The best song but my song of the week is Morris Day in the Times, Black Panic Hose. Black Panic Yeah. 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 Panic, are Panic still a thing? No, nah, I, don't, I don't think so. Just don't know what none. I don't think. Fishness was around for Fishness a while. Fishness was around for a while. Yeah, yeah. What nothing. Yeah, it's about the Panic yeah, I think, I think it's Panic Hose was a thing. Yeah, it was definitely a thing. Okay. Yeah, and then I don't want nothing. I'm cool with that. I like that. <laughs> um, my song of the week is Drake Mob Ties, man. Uh, yeah. Sick of him. He was sick of him on that. Yeah. 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 He was sick on him right there. Yeah, now nah, for sure. He need, to, he need to remix that. Yeah, he need to come back. My boy said he led the league in scoring, man. Look at my sis. My sis. Look how many dimes out and through these yeah. cats. Yeah. They don't care. They don't talk about that. No. <laughs> yeah, nah, he need to do a remix. He need to do a remix. Yeah, sick I'm gonna do my stuff. Yeah. Okay. Sick it. Hide some help. <laughs> Get rid of them. Right now. Mm. What the shit? I'm running a blitz. You know what I mean? Fuck it over. It is what it is, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, your man's Baca, dog. He got a weird case. He got a weird case. Why is, Why is he, he around? around? <laughs> Why is Baca around? Let's get to it, guys. Funny, That's man. funny. See, I say it all the time. I tell the twin, Why you around? Watch it around. Sport press. Thank you, yeah. No layup line, no warm ups, no nothing. We just walking right into the stadium, get into the game. But let's do it. When the beat on in the song, when the white jerseys on the road, cause how we feel where we roam is our home. Leaving these other podcasts null and void. The show can't miss something like Tom Shepard and Corduroy's. Full sport press, you know them boys. Jay run the point, lock for three, and me, I crashed the boys. Weezy told you that it's paid for. We- Full sport press. Greetings and salutations. I would like to welcome everybody back. And some of you for the first time to the Full Sport Press Podcast, the premier sports podcast for the consummate sports fan. And this is your one-stop shop for all sports-related news and topics. I'm Jay Ho. It's your boy, Big Jeff. It's your boy, Weeds. What do you do? Coach Locke is out on the assignment. Shout out to you, Coach. Shout out to Coach. Shout out to Coach. Karen, man, how you doing, brother? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's poor people around. That's what that sounded like. It definitely sounded like yeah. that. How's your buddy, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> what you, what's up, man? You here? Hey, okay. There you go. There you go. There we All go. right, brother. All right. <laughs> yeah. Episode five hundred and eighteen. We're analyzing burning questions heading into the twenty twenty four NFL OTAs. FSP style. Always FSP style. You better damn know it. Better damn believe it. Wheezy. Yeah. Back in the building. Back. What's your best of the week, brother? Best of the week. Best of the week for me, man, was a uh, baby girl graduated from preschool this weekend. Come on, man. Come on, man. Preschool. Come on, man. Man. Shout out to my baby, Shout man. That's yeah. my that's my baby there. Yeah, I like her more than I like you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> she shook it up for graduation. Yeah. She did. They had a, uh, they sang a song, right? Yeah. And I was sitting there, they sang a song, and she walks up. Yeah. Another guy, another little kid walk up. I said, they ain't finna give her a mic, are they? Yeah. They gave her a mic, and she had, a, she had like church in there, and she rocked it. She rocked it. <laughs> she rocked Anybody it. get it on film? I think I think I think I think I got it on film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, gotta see, I, gotta I gotta see that. Break. Yeah. yeah, I gotta see that on the break. Yeah. My best of the week is kind of piggybacking off Weezy. Seeing all of the people that I went to high school with or college with yeah. and do their kids or some of them graduating from high, high school. school. <laughs> That's Yo, tough, that man. is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's kids. No bullshit. I remember being in the barbershop. Shout out to Juan. I know he listening. Mm-hmm. And I remember those kids were in bellies. Mm-hmm. Of the mm-hmm. homies' wives or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. and now seeing them walk across the stage, graduating, being adults, yeah, got their hair and twist, they yeah. they grown, good. yeah, man, yeah. just solid human beings, yeah. man, graduating from my alma mater, you know, shout out to the boroughs, cool to even see that, yeah, man, it's crazy, it's just cool to see, and um, Godspeed to all of those kids, man, good luck in the future, that's, that's it's cool to see, that's that. a good one, Jay, yeah, that's yeah, really good. what you got, Jeff, best of the week, 
I want to st- I want to kind of piggyback off that, yeah. but actually Lonzo Ball, man, okay. Lonzo Ball had a, it was on a podcast. I, I should remember the podcast name. We're talking about it's his actually, podcast. It was his podcast. Yeah, he okay. got his own podcast. Him, his brother Jello. Shout out to Jello. Yeah, Shout out to keep on pushing yeah. Jello. His pushing. his manager, yeah. the dude that that would be doing the bullshit yeah. with the uh, with the shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there's one of his short homeboys. Okay, yeah, kind of remind me of Weezy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, he was he was talking about his journey to get back. He had yeah. to get a meniscus donor, which is crazy. It's crazy. He was college, no college, bone on bone. Yeah. But he back on the court, man. So he back getting back ready. So hopefully next season when he come back around, we get Lonzo Ball back at it. One of my favorite players. Godspeed to Zoe, yeah. man. Yeah, for sure. What you got, Weezy? Worst of the week. Worst of the week. I'm right back with uh, <laughs> I'm cool with the high school graduation. Mm-hmm. graduation. And I'm cool with the preschool graduation. Kindergarten graduation. Yeah. Yeah. But after that, fifth grade graduation. That's stupid. Eighth grade graduation. No. I, I, I can't handle that. Yeah, what so. they got to do, and I don't think I think they got to just start giving awards out. Yeah, what? I mean, have yeah. an assembly, end of the year assembly, yeah, yeah. and give yeah. awards. Out. That's what we used to do. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, they do a lot. It but is a lot. It's a lot. It's it, a lot, and it ruins the big graduation. So, like, you walk across stage four times in your in your in in, yeah. in your yeah. house. You get to high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> yeah, true. I just put a cap and gown on, so I got to high school. It ruins that experience. Yeah, yeah. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Yeah, big deal. Yeah. Uh, my worst of the week is Antonio Brown, guys. Oh God, filed for bankruptcy. And owes eight. Credit is nearly three million bucks, earned over eighty-eight million dollars in his career. He now claims he has less than fifty thousand dollars in assets. Mm. 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 Fifty thousand. I feel sorry for his kids. Yeah, I do. Sad. I feel sorry for his kids. Now, for real, like dead ass, we that's saw sad. when he got CTE. We saw the hit, and I heard I Jason he Kelsey talking about it. He said, "Oh, I'm gonna have CTE as I continue to, you know, world maneuvers and yeah. gets through life." He said, I'm going to have CTE. But to see a person spiral down, like the way the AB is, man, it's tough, man. It's tough. Well, I, I think he has CTE, but I also think he's just nuts. No, nah, it's nah, CTE. No, nah, no. Nah. It's that, CTE. Pre that hit and mm. post that hit, that was a different ball Two player, totally different, different, human, different being. human being. What hit we talking about? Vontez Burfick. Vontez Burfick hit to put oh. him out. Yeah. That was sick. That was so, a sick hit, and so. it is. He's been different since then. People yeah, deny. Some people deny it, yeah, it but most people can kind of like, nah. That you was can the pinpoint. One. That yeah, was that the one. Yeah. yeah, what you got to do? All right, my worst. I'm all for a good troll. All for a good trash talk on the basketball court. Mm-hmm. Tyrese Halliburton. This kind of is in bad taste now. I think you might be injured, so I hope yeah, it's for you. Yeah. But you can't wear Best. the Reggie Miller choke hoodie. After no. winning Game Seven, now you gotta walk. In you gotta walk there. in the arena. You gotta walk in the garden with that hoodie on. That's fact. Like, that that was that was bad. I didn't like that. Suck a move. As good as Tyrese Halliburton is, great All Star year. He's coming of age. He's taking Indiana Pacers yeah. further. You know, since Paul George regiment, he's back to that that standard of player. You can't wear that hoodie though. He from Racine though, bro. Racine what? Racine, Wisconsin. I got one of my dog land. <laughs> Make sure you check us that out. That was me landing. Make sure you check us out on Spotify, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> iTunes, Facebook, Google Play, and Amazon Music to catch up on the full archive of past episodes of FSP. Just simply search Full Sport Press Podcast. J Ho. Yes, sir. And Wheezy. What do you do? Do you guys have a yellow box of Cheerios recipient for our listeners? We do. This week's re- Award recipient is Florida. <laughs> Florida Gators football versus Georgia quarterback Jaden Rashada. That's right. Yeah. Um, it's, it's tough when you have the yellow box and you got to take it to your people, you know, because yeah, it's yeah, bullshit yeah. going yeah. on. Mm-hmm. But um, new Georgia quarterback Jaden Rashada has filed a lawsuit against Florida head coach Billy Napier and also the Gators <laughs> boosters. <sighs> Rashada flipped from Florida. From, from Miami, excuse me, to Florida in the late recruiting cycle after he was um, awarded a bigger NIL offer for signing with said Gators. Mm-hmm. His NIL deal was supposed to be worth $13.5 million over four years. Mm-hmm. Yep, and we paid him over $5 million directly himself from <laughs> one specific booster. That goes by the last name of Hathcock. Now, per the lawsuit, Rashida, Rashada, excuse me, claims that he was defrauded by Florida and that Napier promised his father a partial payment of $1 million cash at the time of signing. Rashada Sue is the first known lawsuit regarding NIL deals in college athletics. Booster Hugh Hathcock 
and his automotive dealership is also a defendant in said lawsuit. Mm. Rashad assigned with Arizona State and spent his freshman season with the Sun Devils after moving away from Florida and saying, you know what, I'm going to go to Arizona State and chill out. He entered the transfer portal after this season and somewhat surprisingly committed to the Georgia Bulldogs. At Georgia, Rashada will likely back up Carson Beck, a top 10 pick in the 2025 NFL draft, before competing to be the starter in 2025. No kid, especially a four-star kid, is worth what we were trying to give Jaden Rashada. I think what happened was we came as a collective, the NIL at Florida was like, that kid ain't worth mm-hmm. that over no five years. Mm-hmm. So we might need to figure out a way to kind of maybe cut that in half. Mm-hmm. Because, no, he, he listen, if he was that good, mm-hmm. he would start in Arizona State. Mm-hmm. And he started a couple of games, but I'm saying he wouldn't be leaving Arizona State. Mm-hmm. He just wasn't that good. And I think now that we get things a little bit more under control as far as NIL, you kind of see shit shakes out a little different. But yeah. he made a mistake. Yeah. I, I, th- I don't think it even has anything to do with the kid being good or not. Mm. I think it's more along the lines of kind of what you said there at the end. Weezy, you an investor, you know this. Like, markets start to correct themselves. People start to realize, I'm not going to be able to keep giving. Mm-hmm. Every year we're giving 3 and $5 million to a kid yeah. every year. Yeah. And we aren't winning anything. It's not I don't care how long the money is. It's yeah. Eventually, you got to y- y- your tax man going to come in. Come on. And your money man going to ask you a couple of questions, too. Yeah. Like, why we keep doing this? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's what we see. But like, if you look at it, I mean, basically, Hathcock is like the Freelands or mm-hmm. of... J- yeah, j- j- beaming. Just, yeah, beaming. Yeah, beaming. Like you know, so in turn, you're gonna have to pay two and a half million in taxes anyway. Why not do it to your favorite university? Right. That's yeah. true. But yeah. But they gotta win too. They gotta, yeah, he gotta too. be worth it. I can't yeah, just that, give two and a half million. What, that's the problem. Two and a half million to a kid. I can go get. And that goes with what I'm saying from the beginning. Is he really worth this? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Two things stand out with this. Um, with this situation. First thing is they that he directly. Suing the coach, yeah, yeah. and the university literally just, just let them do it, yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, if that would happen at a big school, university, said, well, let's take care of this, yeah, it'd have been, it wouldn't have came out, it'd been a settlement, yeah. And the second thing is, he has a chance to win the lawsuit because he, he like it's the first time for everything, mm-hmm. so he might win this lawsuit, yeah. And the next time, it won't be no more, yeah. they'll, they'll well, stop it, then they're gonna cover their ass, they can't yeah. sue, yeah. he can't sue the school because the money's not coming from the school, can't yeah. come from the school, it's coming from the coach who recruited right. you, yep. that's telling you who to get it from, yep. and the person who you know who you're supposed to get it from. So the school is can wash their hands at it, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it's the same time, the coach, the school is don't have the coaches back, no, nah. yeah, so. no, nah. nah, you know, well, and jack. going into the year where we have the hardest schedule in college football, and he has to win at least nine, ten games to keep his gig. And no quarterback. With uh, we got we got a guy. Who? We got a freshman, DJ Lagway. I thought Co- you had Graham Harrell back. No, he's the number one quarterback in the country. He came to Florida. We still got Graham <laughs> Graham Hurt Mertz is yeah. coming back. But he's what I'm start? He, hell yeah, he's gonna start. He's a seventh year senior. He got to start. So that's what I'm saying. We have a lot of pressure on that kid. And, man. I don't, I don't, I don't say nothing. Yeah. I'm, hey. Yeah, he, he, cause that was Jordan Travis now. It was. Yeah, it it's was, the same shit. Yeah, I'm just saying. But, but you didn't say that about him. You just said. Super duper senior. Yeah, all right. Long yeah, keep, the, duper. I'm, yeah, keep the energy, bro. Super duper. 30 years old. Nah, he, Take he, this to my coach. He, he, Mario with, well, he Mario with the star. When you, just, you know. You know <laughs> Mar- yeah. yeah. <laughs> same as Jordan Travis. <laughs> Same, <laughs> Same as Michael Penix. No, Mike didn't play seven years. Michael Penix, he's not a seventh. I'm, he, he didn't play seven years either, bro. He played yeah. five years. He just, he I called him. Facetious. I was being yeah. facetious. Uh, okay. You missed a week and you no, forgot just, about that. No, I'm just listening to what you're saying. Okay. All right. Well, dun, dun, I'm taking this dun, to my coach. Dun, Chill out, dun, man. Dun, dun, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah I, Who else going to take it? Yeah, it's your man. All right. Yeah, that's, that's, your my, that's my coach. Yeah, it's your coach. That's my coach. Shit. Yeah, should have been your forget. quarterback. It should have been who quarterback? He was a Gator. He was. Yeah. He ain't really good like that. Oh, yeah. He ain't. I ain't gonna clown him. Four star. Four star. Four star should be what, good. One thing about one thing about the Gators, they'll show. They don't stand by their yeah. man. Once you get off a play, you off. Yeah, man. They don't stand by him before the game. Humans man. too. Oh, that's go for show too. Yeah, for sure. All right, listen. I. Let's get started with the first half. What are you talking about? Did Full Sport Press. This is your boy FSP Weezy. Join us each and every Monday on all streaming platforms. Don't forget.
get to you. Everything is paid for. The revolution will be podcasted. First half, the hottest sports news of the past week, like we do each and every week here at the Full Sport Press Podcast. Before we get started, I am Jay Ho. It's your boy, Big Jeff. It's your boy, Weezy. What it do? Big Jeff, when you find you on social media, my brother. Ah, right, Weezy, man. I'm at Jay Easley 84 across all social media platforms. Jay. Jay Ho on Instagram and Twitter. Let's talk on Twitter. Mm. <laughs> I'm FSP underscore Weezy on IG. I'm at Weezy on Twitter. Holla at me. Nah, he on Twitter. Yeah. He out there. We don't, you know, we the only people still call it Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm telling you, I ain't calling it X. That's yeah. his slave name. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And I ain't even doing the X formerly known as Twitter. It's Twitter to me. It's Twitter. Mama name you Twitter. I'm gonna call Man, you Twitter. I'm, I mean, come on, then. <laughs> I ain't going with the slave names. Not yeah. today. Nah. Okay. Shit. Let's get the first half off, man. With some NBA talk. <laughs> the 2023-2024 NBA campaign has been. Whittled down from 30 teams to four, guys. Mm-hmm. Conference finals are here. The Boston Celtics, Indiana Pacers, Minnesota Timberwolves, and Dallas Mavericks are the only squad still playing mm. as we await the results to get to the NBA Finals. Let's cook up some bold predictions for both series, starting with the Western Conference, the number three seed, Minnesota Timberwolves, versus number five seed, Dallas Mavericks. The Mavs are up 1-0 as we record this podcast the series favorite before game one, Minnesota was favored by minus 185. Wheezy series prediction winner, MVP, why? Oh, I'm I'm still holding my – I don't know if I went here for the first show, but Dallas Mavericks is going to win this series. Wow. Uh, Dallas Mavericks is going to – I just think they got two prolific scores mm-hmm. that didn't figure it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kyrie's playing – Kyrie's playing with more. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, of a uh, no, no. It's more um, moxie. We, you, no, no, no. no it's it's, it's when you're playing for a purpose. Yeah, yeah. And he's uh, evolved, or yeah. he's nah, grown up. It's or, the same. It's the same, Kyrie. Well, on the court, it's different. He's playing a little defense at spots sometimes. Yeah, I, I like it. Uh, my in prediction, you are talking about serious prediction? What? How many games? Mavs and what? Six. Who's your series MVP? Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic. Okay. Mm. Jeffrey? Minnesota was built to beat Denver. Mm-hmm. They were built to beat Denver. That's right. And everything that we said was a bad move for Dallas to trade for Kyrie is why they are a horrible matchup for Minnesota. Okay. All that reaching they do, mm-hmm. that extra foul and they be in Minnesota, they do if they were playing defense, that doesn't Help when you got two masterful ball handlers, pause in that backcourt, yeah. and that and that is showing. It is going to show. With all that being said, I do still believe that because of the shooting of Carl Anthony Towns and the defense in that front court, and Anthony Edwards having his skyrocket year, I do believe Minnesota wins this in seven. But Dallas is gonna give them all the headaches they want. Yeah, series. the thing is with, uh, we'll, we'll talk about. It. Okay, so. And this is tough for me because, like Jeff said, I think this Minnesota team is a championship caliber defense, right? Like, I think that they can play at a high level to win a bunch of the games. I think Minnesota's even better getting over screens, smothering ball handlers, and not even have to help off shooters, which we saw in game one. I think the biggest, most athletic team left in the entire NBA right now is the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're the better team, especially in this Series maybe not moving on to Boston, but I would say goodbye to all of those lobs that we saw Derrick Jones Jr., Daniel Gafford, Derrick Lively doing. I think this roster is super well balanced. I think people give shit about Kyle Anderson, my guy. Hey, how does he play in the NBA? Um, Kyle Anderson can really play at a high level. His shot is funky, yeah, but crazy. yeah, but he can still play at a high level. Yeah. I think Dallas has been impressive though, and to see the way that they've put this team together with some uh, mid-season trades. Mm. It really has helped out. Um, like Weezy mentions, two of the best weapons offensively we've seen in NBA history. But, mm-hmm. man, I really think the Wolves are the, are the team that can win this. Minnesota should win this. But, yeah. man, they're, Luka and Kyrie will give anybody fits, right? Yeah. But how Minnesota is constructed, yeah. Mike Conley is going to have a tough night. Anthony Edwards is going to have to play both sides of the ball. Every yeah. night. Here's the thing, too, and Every I think night. you guys put a little too much pressure on Anthony Edwards and saying he's the best. And I I remember when we were doing the Western Conference, like, guys, chill. He's just 22. 
What do you mean? People were saying he's the next guy. He's the heir apparent to all of this. That well, can he, be true, but yeah. he's bro. His last two big games, game seven against Denver, mm-hmm. he didn't play good. Well, he played well enough during that run to come back. They were down by twenty. Mike, um, the Murray kid hits that three and looks at him after he hits that three and they go up twenty. And it was the Ant Man show after that. So what I'm saying is, if you don't get your average, does that mean you're not playing at a high level? No, you watch too much basketball to say that. No, no, I'm you, asking you a question. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? I guess multiple ways you can you can you can affect you can the skin game. A cat I, multiple ways. I agree with that, right? But mm-hmm. if you if your team needs X amount of points, right? Okay. And you aren't meeting that number, so Jaden McDaniels has to get your average. Mm-hmm. That means also that you're not fulfilling that offensive obligation that you've had throughout the year. I I can agree with that. However, that would mean something more if your reason to be on the team was just to shoot. I agree. I yeah. think Carl Anthony Ta- not not to bring up yeah. Carl, but Carl Anthony Towns not making his shots hurts more than Anthony Edwards because. Car- because Anthony can impact the game more, and you got to respect Anthony's dribble drive and his shot more than Carl just his trade ball. Yeah, but I, I don't think it's a question that Anthony Edwards is the man on that team. Yeah, that's his team. Yeah, that's his yeah, team. That's his team. They, they go through him, and they've been going through him for two years now. Yeah, we're right at it. But here's the thing that worries me about that team, and even with Anthony Edwards, he goes out and played a really good defensive job against um, Jamal Murray, right? Mm-hmm. So he gets this – Brandiose way of saying, "Oh, I got Kyrie," and it's a whole different ball game it's going against Jamal game. Murray, comparing it to Kyrie. Kyrie so in turn, yeah. yeah. So in turn, you don't have enough gas to also help out on offense. So in turn, that 27, 28 that he was averaging turns down to eighteen. I need them ten points from you, dog. Well, so he just got to find it. But that's what I'm. Speaking it's about. harder to say that. But I think what Carl Anthony Towns does, him shooting six for twenty. I agree that that hurts more. Yeah. But at the same time, him getting twelve rebounds is also helping out too. So there again, I think when those games when they do that, and you know Anthony uses all of his extra strength to go and guard a guy he can't guard, just take him off of him, and you'll learn. You, I promise you, you'll see Anthony Edwards at his best. Yeah, but, but you don't have a choice to do that. Th- yeah, yeah, they do. There's nowhere to hide him in that because he's got to check one of the two. No, he don't. Who can he? Who can he guard? He can guard Derrick Jones Jr. Then who would you put on that? Who else would you put on him? You put Mike there? Conley, and then you put. Oh God, Mike Conley's gonna get. Gonna I'm get slurred. They, they were saying Jaden McDaniels is first team, second team All NBA defense. Who's he guarding? He's guarding the other one. So that's what I'm saying. You're hiding Conley. Conley's Con- fine. Give me Conley. Here's the thing. I'm not tiring Anthony Edwards out just to in a Luka situation. Duncan but you, had Jordan Dan- McDaniels in a blender. Yeah. And, and he's second team on defense. Well, there's nothing you can do with Luca. Luca's gonna fade his own pace. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. So why waste that energy? And you get a misconception of what's really going on when you put him in against Jamal Murray, and then you sit and say, "Well, damn, he ain't having number 18 points that game. He had 18 points in game one. He's tired. He can't. I get it, he's 22. He's mm-hmm. still in his prime. He ain't got that. But he's still tired. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So take him off of him. Minutes, but yeah. I think this. Go- I think. I think the thing that's going unnoticed. And for the whole playoffs, with the uh, with Minnesota is they don't have their head coach on the court. He's right there though. Yeah, but that's a big difference. No, it ain't. That's what I think. Nah, I'm just I you, see where he's going with that yeah, though. That's nah. a big difference. It's, 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 it's something. It's something. Not saying that he don't call. Not saying that he's not still coach. But in it's a, something where a coach is yelling yeah. out something to you that he sees. He's screaming it, y'all. Yeah, he's, he's screaming. But he. But the other coach is right around there. and listen to him. And, uh, it's being relayed right. through somebody nah, else. Girl, he's right there. It'd be different if he was coaching from, like, uh, when Jim Harbaugh was doing it. He was coaching in a mic, in an earpiece. No, bro. He's literally, Finch, he's right there. Chris Finch is right there. I just think that's it. He's think right there. No. He's in the, he, coach is like he paid for front row seats. No. Because yeah, he's, he's behind the bench. That's what I'm saying. That was, those he's are, right there. That's the same. And then he's the moved up. Seat. To the front row, right there. He just can't get up. No, he's not. Yeah. On, he's not in the front row. No, I mean he's on the. He's, he, he's behind the bench. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, if you're right here and you your coach, he's still the coach. He's still running practices. They still running his. Yeah, office. but Jay, sometimes though, that, that that assistant coach is up there by the scores table, yeah, like a real coach, like a head coach. I'm yeah, saying, and, and I get that too. But he he's running what Finch wants in the room. I, under, I, I complete. I just think yeah. I think that could be a yeah. thing. If that was the case, they would have lost game seven. They should have lost game seven. If we be honest, but they did. They did not. Rudy Gobert hit that shot. He saved the world again. Just that just shot did. that easy. I'm just saying. Like, but that they, sh- yeah. But I honestly think that Carl Anthony Towns or Jaden McDaniels gets Series MVP. Nah, 
I this really ain't, think Jan- this ain't year, bro. Nah, this ain't got the got the best silhouette. I don't got the, got the best sneaker silhouette yeah. going right no, now. No, we don't. But I'm saying I I don't even know. Dallas might win this thing. Dallas, that, now, if that, now here's what thing. Dallas wins Kyrie's MVP. No. Kyrie's MVP. Oh, Not Dallas wins what? If Kyrie wins this series, that Kyrie's MVP. No. No. Yeah. I, I disagree. I honestly think that um, we'll see a person like Luka Doncic get it. Well, because the, the thing, the why I give it to Luka is because Luka hits his big shots. Both of them hit big shots, but Luka hits his at the end of the game. Yeah, now he in the fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah, so does Kyrie. No, 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 no. Kyrie gives it to him. Kyrie's clutch. Yeah, Kyrie. Yeah, calls it shit out. Kyrie's one of the most clutch yeah. players we've ever seen. Yeah. No, I so, yeah, no. Nah, and I think what happened is that we see Kyrie Irving playing at such a high level, and he's been playing the exact same way ever since they kind of ostracized him and tried to get him out of the league, box him out of the league. Mm-hmm. He's not on USAB. Yeah. He wasn't an all star. He been playing at a high level, man. What they're doing to Kyrie is but now the same thing they're gonna do to John Morant. Now you can't do it to him no more, though. Oh yeah, they ain't got no After choice. They gonna do it. Yeah, but no. I'm saying, but if they if if somehow listen, no, 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 hear me out. If somehow Dallas makes the NBA championship, what can you say now? Because now you got to talk about Kyrie on on TV. Mm-hmm. You can't talk about Luca all the time because there's a dude right next to him putting up 25 a game too. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? I'm with you. Yeah, and, and, and they could buy him for six, six, six to three points. That's every game. night, though. That's gonna be every, every night. night. That's, that's, that's gonna what be I'm hard saying. to beat. Did it? No, Minnesota it's not. was was it, go, go ahead. ahead. Minnesota go ahead. was constructed to beat Denver. They had the same. They had Denver's general manager from last year. They combined for sixty, sixty in, in every game. That's gonna be hard to beat. Yeah. It's gonna be no. Cause it, how they how they run their offense is tough for Denver. And we're talking a lot about this series because this next one do not need a lot to talk about. Yeah. Moving right along to the Eastern Conference breakdown, we have the number one seed, Boston Celtics, versus number six seed, Indiana Pacers. The Celtics are up 2 nothing. Series favorite before game one was Boston minus 600. <laughs> Jeff, series prediction, series MVP, and why? Boston in five. I had Boston in five before. I put this in the group chat before the series even started. I got Boston losing one, maybe two games for the rest of the NBA playoffs. This is over. We can fast forward to Summer League. This is over with. Jason Dre- Tatum is the Eastern Conference MVP and Finals MVP. Go ahead and call it now. Weezy? I, I ain't going to go with the championship, but Boston wins this series in five, especially with Halliburton being hurt now. With hamstrings. Because, you know, them, ham- them hamstrings, they heal when they want to. They do. Yeah. Um. Boss is just a better team, and Indiana Indiana had the chance to win the yeah that first game when they went to overtime, and Halliburton just drew the ball off his leg or somehow I don't know what what oh, happened. It's hard to do that when you can't really play like that, huh? Yeah, it's hard to do what drew off his leg. No, it's hard to play at a high level when you can't really play like what? that. Like he in a tough spot with a person. Bro, like, when you got Drew Holiday, people don't realize how nasty Drew Holiday is. No, I'm saying I agree with you. Like, he they ruined that game by dribbling that ball off his foot. But I don't think Tyrese Halliburton is 100% healthy. He hasn't been healthy since he hurt that same hamstring in April, March. Yeah. And he's been out and mm. still been hurt. I don't think he's playing at a high level. Um, he's just making shots. He's kind of pushing himself through it. But, yeah, I agree. Uh, Boston, I think Boston – Wins this in four. They're yeah. gonna get some real rest. I mean, he's probably not healthy. His, uh, it came out that his trainer actually said that he wasn't healthy. Drew Hanlon said he's not yeah. healthy, but it's not. It wasn't a hamstring. It's his back. He said he said he's still having back spasms. Yeah, he's pushing through it. But that high octane Pacers offense can beat anybody. So I can easily if they get see. High. Yeah, if they get high, they shot sixty seven percent against the Knicks in that game seven. Yeah. Like that's, that's the Knicks though. Yeah, that's what was left. That was the tired. Knicks. Yeah, that was what tired. Was left yeah. yeah, but I think the Celtics lose a game. Every series they, they, they lost play with to, food. yeah, they lost to Miami. Yeah, they, you know, played with them when Jimmy wasn't even out there. Yeah, you know, lost a game generally less confident with a banged up Cavs team. Yeah. We gotta talk about Jared Allen too. But with Drew Holiday, mm. Mm. you got Derek White. I don't think that they just kind of match up with that offense that we have in Indiana. And then on top of that. This gives Christoph Porzingis even more time to get 100% healthy. Mm-hmm. And I think Jalen Brown wins series MVP, without a doubt. Okay. Yeah. I just, you know. Yeah, I think Indiana was on a 2021 Hawks run. Very similar to what y'all did in 2021. Nah, see, there's a difference, though. Trey Young don't get hurt in that game five. We got a shot. Bro, the Brad- we got a legit shot against them. If, 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 if Trey Young did not get hurt, we had a legit shot in that series. Against who? In the yeah. Eastern Conference Finals against against Milwaukee, Trey Young gets hurt yeah. in the, in that fourth quarter. We had a legit shot. The bracket broke perfectly for y'all. It was injuries, bro. 
Every team y'all play was injured, bro. We beat New York in the garden. That's part. That's part of it. Your man's Julius Randle just didn't show up. We beat Julius Randle fair. We beat the Knicks fair and square in the garden. Yeah. Trey said it's cold in this bitch. Yeah, that's what Trey said. It was, it, teams was injured. That's bro. what Trey said. Don't do that in teams the garden. Teams full garden too. That was, bro. It's quiet. Julius, Julius Randle was hurt. Nah, he no, he went six. He went uh, zero for twelve because he was hurt, man. <laughs> but anyway, the Pacers. On, I think they'll win a game shooting alone. They may. I think Pacers will get one game, but I think yeah, it, Boston yeah, get one. Boston and they'll and they'll win it back in Boston game five. Yeah, outmatched in this series at large, but to get the breaks that they've gotten throughout this against the Bucks, against the Knicks, you get a you know this is very similar to the twenty twenty one Hawks, same exact thing. It was a th- yeah, we don't got it. It was, a three, it was three teams in the East that could win. Sixes get hurt, Bucks get hurt, and we got what's left. When well, nobody is gonna hit hurt. Yeah, yeah, injuries. Make sure you check us out on iTunes, Facebook, Instagram, Google Play, Spotify, Beyond Pie, YouTube, Amazon Music, and Amazon Music. Yeah. Hey, if you got Amazon Prime, <laughs> hell yes, there too. <laughs> Make sure you do all that, all right? <laughs> and when these ads start showing, ads are free if you got Amazon Prime or Amazon Music. Make sure you check that out. All right, if you just want a full archive of past episodes of FSP, just simply search for Sports Press Podcast. Halftime! Pocket watching with FSP. Mm. In the words of the great Lester Freeman, follow the money, Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Let's get going. Ice Cube's Big Three Basketball League. Coming to Nashville this year, fellas. We pull it up? No. I'm oh, not. Okay. All right. You know what I might? He said first, no. I might. Yeah, something to do. Have a little Audi. <laughs> you hear this? <laughs> the I'm team. Right the, the, right mm. Jeff, it. According to Bloomberg, child to Bloomberg. The Bloomberg Report, <laughs> the big three will be selling his first team in a $10 million deal. An investment firm named DCB Sports reached a deal with the big three that will give them a team based out of Los Angeles. This came after the big three just announced it will move away from its current touring method, which is bringing them to Nashville this year, to they're going to have an actually city-based format like other sports leagues that are in America. As a result, all 12 big three teams are now up for sale. What we doing, cameraman? Huh? Big three franchise? Maybe? Okay, cool. Coding Ice Cube, we need to plan our roots in cities so we can be more than a rolling all-star game coming through. It's really about growing the sport and the league. Mm-hmm. J-Ho. Yes, sir. This is a big deal, little deal, or no deal. Oh, it's a big deal for that league, for sure. I mean, they're looking to expand 16 teams by 2025. Also looking to have teams in London and Toronto. Chief. So, yeah, no, they expect every team to have an owner by then as well. Mm-hmm. So that makes sense, man. Not a big fan of this league after really? the first two seasons. It got a little weird. It's just it's jail ball. They got to figure out a way to kind of figure it out. Just a way. Skill into it. Yeah, it's just older guys just, oh, listen, it's, it's jail ball. Joe Johnson's still cooking it, yeah, man. Yeah, they still, don't make it right. You know what it is? You don't like, you don't like go to hell ball. Yeah, that's it. It's a lot of it's, ice it's so all man. it's all guys that are currently trying to um reinvigorate their playing days. And it's a good it's a good concept. I like the concept. Mm-hmm. They just got to clean up the game a little bit. And I'm sure if you're bringing in people that's actually investing into teams and to getting that up to 16, also figuring out a way to have an owner for each league, listen, I mean for each team, listen. They're going to find a way to clean up that game because people aren't investing in something that is a rolling circus like it is right now. So, yeah. <laughs> you really don't like the big three. I don't. Not a fan of the league at all. But I I wouldn't mind going to see some of the guys play. Like some of some older North Carolina guys play. Yeah. Jeff Teague plays. Jeff Teague's so, yeah. 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 What do you think, Weez? Man, I, I think Ice Cube did it once. I mean, business, like like they say, business are meant to be sold. Uh, he sold his first team. That That's that that's the he, – he got to invest. He, that's what he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Develop and grow. Yeah, and develop. absolutely. So it's a, it's a big deal for him. I'm sure. It, you know, we live in a copycat world, so somebody else is gonna buy a, buy a team too. And see if they can make some money off of it. So yeah, he definitely did what he wanted to do. I think this is the perfect time if you if you're looking to get into professional sports. This is the perfect league to jump into. Like you do pickleball, you do you you invest in some pickleball, you invest in some women's soccer, maybe a WNBA franchise, get you a big three team. Because at this point, you playing in a whole different stratosphere if you're buying an NBA, MLB, mm-hmm. or NFL team, right? But yeah. if you can get in one of these leagues that are upstart leagues that's going to be here for a while, and as 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 sports now becomes the thing that's driving entertainment in this country, I think it's a good investment. Yeah, can't be bad. Yeah. 
Real quick, since yeah. you on Pocket Watch, I got one more stat for us. Two. Uh, NBA, they said SGA in his final year of his contract is going to make $81 million. So a million dollars a game. A mm. million dollars a game. He's until 2029, maybe? Mm-hmm. Final, the final year of his contract, he's going to make $81 million. A million dollars a game. Yeah. When will we see the first athlete make $100 million a year? Victor in, 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 in American in, sports. In, in American Victor Wimbledon. Nah. Yeah. I think we'll see, no. Here's the thing: Will we see it in the NBA first or the NFL first? Oh, NBA, NBA, yeah, NBA. Worst, worst players, yeah. worst players associated in in America is the NFL. Yeah, they won't allow that. They finna get eighteen games out of them boys. Yeah, yeah it's definitely Victor. Um, Victor will be a second team, maybe third team All NBA guy next year, mm-hmm. which in turn will strike up that new. Won't the all de- don't the all these defense teams count that anyway? I think so. So he got our first team all defense this year. Yeah, yeah. he good. The closest yeah. thing to it in the NFL, they said Joe Burrow will make with incentives and everything. He'll make sixty six million dollars this year. It's crazy. Yeah, and if you go look at Mbappe, he made he's gonna make one hundred and two next oh, year. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Shout out to football. Yeah, shout out to football. And that is pocket watching with FSP. Y'all ready for the second half? Let's get it. Let's do it. Jay Ho. Check us out each and every Monday. The Revolution will be podcast. Revolution will be podcasted. Second half, the 2024 NFL OTAs. Burning questions. I am Jay Ho. It's your boy Big Jeff. It's your boy Weezy. What it do? Cameraman organized team activities known as OTAs kick off this week. There's plenty of intrigue to be found in the next stage of the offseason. Fans will get their first real looks at rookies and veterans practicing together in the coming days. And while jobs won't be won or lost before training camp, the early rounds of positional battles will start to unfold. Many players returning from injuries will also start to ramp up their recoveries during OTAs, while contract negotiations will continue for others. As we approach the start of these workouts all over the NFL, here's some of the burning questions teams must answer between now and when the regular season begins in September 20. 24. Weezy, the first question I have for you. How will the 2024 NFL rookie QBs do year one? <laughs> Depends on who, who, we, who we talking about. Yeah, six of them. I think Keller Williams would be okay. I think Keller Williams would be okay. Will he have a better year than uh, with CJ Stroud? Nah, I don't year? do that. That's I mean, not I, fair. I, that's, a, that's a bar. Bro, it's a, literally the the kid that was drafted. I don't think he'll take his team to the playoffs. Is he just trying the bar now? That's the bar for rookie quarterback. No, I'm, I'm, it's I'm not. Really it's I'm literally really just last year. So, so no, I don't think he'll take his team to the playoffs the first year. No, if that's what you ask, I understand. But do I think he'll do better than all the other rookies? It's it's between him and Jaden Daniels for me. I think they. I think Jaden Daniels probably is a little a little bit in a worse situation than Caleb Williams is. A lot worse. Yeah, but I think he'll do. I think I think he'll do well also. I mean, let's kind of go through it. Chicago is in a situation where he's the only starter out of all of these guys. I don't think anybody else starts but Caleb Williams. Drake May. No. What? No. Drake May not starting. Jacoby Brissett starting. Drake May is going to start. Just trying to tell you. I don't think any of those guys but Caleb Williams starts. I think Jay Daniels starts. Jay Daniels not starting. Jay Daniels starts. I think Bo Nix probably going to start too. I think Marcus Mariota starts there. Oh, they going to get fired. Coach is going to get fired if Marcus Mariota starts. You what can't you start Marcus Mariota in 2024. You're he did it last year. He didn't start last year. He didn't play last year. Well, the, the year that they had Drake, um, what's the kid's name? Desmond Your boy. Ritter. That's what got – so Desmond Ritter came in. He lost his job to Desmond Ritter. Yeah, then the very next year he was a bench player. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I and think – I don't think I don't think Jaden Daniel – I don't think he beats him up. I really don't think so. Ah, man. Yeah, I, I'm concerned if, if, if he can't beat Mariota out. I think Bo Nick starts too. Yeah. yeah. What's the, what's the kid in there? Zach Wilson. I'm telling you, Bo Nick starts. No way. No way. Boy. I'm telling you, Bo Nick starts. No. no. I think the best matchup that you'll see as far as a 1-2 matchup is J.J. McCarthy and Sam Darnold. That's the one that can be a for real holdover. Because oh, I think – But I you think, think Zach Wilson? Please trade Justin And Bo Nix? Jerry Stidham, all of those guys in Denver. I don't think Bo Nick starts that game. The only thing that would make kind of sense is Bo Nix is an older quarterback – so in turn, coming into the league, so in turn, maybe he's ready to play. They went and they've been ranting and raving about how good Bo Nix has transitioned into the NFL already. I haven't heard the same thing about Caleb Williams, but at the same time, he, they already said he's a star. So 
I think he's the only guy that what starts week one. Barring injury, mm. I think he's the only guy that starts. I feel like you, you, all of them start, but Penny. Why'd you put that on the board? No. Oh, mm. all right, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the least interesting of the bunch as far as Denver is because he's not facing anybody that's real competition. Him and I think Marcus Mariota actually wins that. Oof. Why don't you put that on the board? No. Yeah, you got to put that on the board. No. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. We're just, yeah, we're just talking about no, it. We're just if, talking. If, that's new yeah, ownership. Say, yeah, I called it. That's I'm new ownership. That's new. Yeah, man, you trying to get fired. It's Bad. the first year, bro. Yeah, we seen right. coaches get fired in the first year. No, no, not yeah. with not with a team like that. With no yeah, we, we don't have a patient NFL no more. We're not yeah. purposely rolling. No, the, the NFL's not patient anymore. And I just drafted the kid second. Yeah, he was second. Yeah, yeah I drafted the kid second. Nah, he playing like the Patriots don't have time to be patient anymore. No they had they had a bad season last that, year. That's a great that's a great segue because yeah. we move right along to the next question. I ask you again, Weezy, how effective will the New England Patriots rebuild be? It, it has to be. It, they it has to be real effective. They have to win six seven games. They won't win six or seven games. Put that on. Yeah, I'm put that. On. Of course you will. Yeah. You're, 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 you're no, we're not putting that on the board. Oh, you gonna tell me what I'm not gonna put on the board? No. Oh, for you, yeah, the Patriots they won four last year, by the way. will not win six games. Why do you don't think so? Why do you don't think so? What do they have? D- give me that running back. I'm I'm really trying to think of why they wouldn't why they wouldn't win six or seven games. Where where, where are they gonna win it? They not winning on defense. They have a solid. Hey, Matthew Judon is their only person on that's defense. A, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's, that's, that's that. a good player Give right there. Give me that wide receiver one. That's tough. No, they just got the kid. Uh, they just signed somebody. I forgot. No, that, that, that don't matter. They, just, they signed somebody. I, I think with Jacoby Brissett taking number one reps in OTAs, one reason is that because that offensive line is that bad. This is one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL in 2023. They were ranked 29th. Yeah. They brought back the exact same team mm-hmm. on the offensive line. Mm-hmm. So if a team didn't get any better on the offensive line, that was ranked 29th, and then you still have a hole at left tackle, bro, they need all the help that they can get. I think that they saw what happened with the Carolina Panthers, rolling out Bryce Young with no offensive line, mm-hmm. and he almost died. <laughs> that kid almost died. So in turn, that is something – where you see in the AFC East, which is they're the bottom of the AFC East, mm-hmm. very bottom. Yeah, I wish there was a, they're in the dwells of the AFC. Well, that's East. not that's not that's not it's the far fetched. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm a saying. tough division. But I honestly think yeah. that they will look into replacing because they already came out and said Drake May ain't good. They already that said that he. Day, they said bro. he has. They said the same thing. Listen, you don't hear that. About a player that's playing well, they say Kelly Williams is having trouble too. But the Bears' defense is reportedly good now, so they weren't that good when my boy was there. But whatever the case may be, a lot of pressure on Gerard Mayo. Um, I think he'll get a mulligan this year. They'll win yeah. three, four games. Yeah. They'll draft to get. I hope they don't get. <laughs> I pray to God that Shadur doesn't go there. I hope that they give Carson Beck uh, that. Why would Shadur go to the Patriots? Because they're going to be a top five pick. But they got Drake May. No, no, no. Titans did it with a third round and a yeah, second. Second round, yeah, bro. No, you know, Josh waste, Rosen. You wouldn't waste Kyler Murray. That was it, that was bad. That and was, they set back their franchise. Well, Kyler Murray was a better pick. They set back Ro- their franchise. Josh Rosen was just that bad. They set back their franchise. Yeah, but you don't do that. You that's that's malpractice. And it wasn't and it wasn't uh, it wasn't Belichick fault. It was Bobby Kraft fault. Then at that point, just saying they need all the help they can get with that offensive line the way it is. Drake May will not be starting. They're going to let Jacoby Brissett go out there and be the crash test dummy. Then they'll bring in Drake May week six, week seven to get him killed. Absolutely. And he can't play. I told you when he was up on the Heisman list, he couldn't play football. You act like I'm saying he's got dog at John, John no, I'm Montana. Saying, I'm, just I'm saying the kid is going to be good enough for them to win six or seven games. Those six quarterbacks, we're going to go back and look at this. These are the worst six quarterbacks we've ever seen taken in the draft. These are some terrible. No, 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 It's a group of six. I'm doing thing. I don't because it's nothing you can say to change his mind about this. So this is six bad quarterback. I mean, because that Darnold and uh that Darnold class. Oh shoot! No, it's a bad class. But what I'm saying is to go. There's never been five in the top ten, Jeff. Well, so what makes them bad? Like they can't play. No, I'm saying, what what are they not going to do? Are they all going to be traded? Are they all going to be backups? No, they're all kind of similar to like what happened with Trey Lance and Zach Wilson. She and make the so they, so they got, Hold on. They have a good team. That's what I'm saying. And they got – they would have made the playoffs with Justin Fields too. 
Just don't get yeah. it twisted. Don't get it twisted. But Chicago could make the playoffs this year. They they won't win their division though. No, they won't. But they oh, can still make that's the That's a big deal. Like, well, they won't. I think they come in last in that division. No, the same division as the Vikings. Hell no. Vikings. Vikings are bad. They're gonna trade Vikings Justin Jackson. And they got JJ McCarthy. We'll, we'll talk about JJ McCarthy is really bad. He's really bad. Yeah, yeah, he's really bad. Yeah, yeah JJ McCarthy. He's the really worst bad. of that group. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Drake May is worse than him. Uh-uh. And Bo Nix is equally bad. Okay, yeah, JJ yeah. McCarthy and Bo Nix. Yeah, okay, equally cool. bad. Spider Man mean. Yeah, okay. But everybody else. No, all six of them are the Spider Man mean. Nah. Caleb Williams might be a little bit better than some of those. Caleb guys. Williams is gonna surprise you. Okay, so what? Jay Nane, he's hard too. Yeah, he ain't good. He's not good. He's going to try to jump over that, that line. And I wish Aaron Donald still played in the field because he would have catch him and literally break him in half like a Twix. Yeah, let's move right along to the next question we have is, will T. Higgins play for – well, excuse me. Will T. Higgins play a game for the Bengals in 2024, Jeff? Yes. Yeah, he's holding out. Um, I get it. He's trying to make a power play. Cincinnati – Cincinnati has to do right by him. And – because you you went all in on this offense, you had a mulligan last year because you lost uh, your quarterback, and you want to bring that team back because this is a this is a championship contending team, and you have to put all the cards on the table and roll the dice. So they got to make that happen. Yeah, with them losing Tyler Boyd, it makes sense. Um, you got to bring him back. He listen, they want him to be there. Yeah, he's just not pulling up. And that's not yeah, tank. the Bengals. They haven't shown that they're a top-level team minus Joe Burrow. Yeah. Every time that he's healthy, they're either played in the AFC Championship game or the Super Bowl. Yeah. In times that he's injured, they're dead last in the division. So, Weezy, how do you feel about T. Higgins going into 2024 with the Bengals? T. Higgins is going to play. I mean, I think they're going to get all the way training camp to – to get all the way training camp to where he starts missing money, finding him, then eventually he'll go, yeah. he'll go report. But they need him just as much as he needs them. Oh yeah. So I think they'll they might reach a deal. It just depends on how much. Yeah, I don't think so. Cause I that's a great point because they have been on record saying that they haven't got anything close to twenty million a year, which is the threshold now for the wide receivers. Eighteen receivers. Are making more than twenty million a year. Jeez. He wants something in the range of Terry McLaurin, Michael Pittman, um, and Debo Samuel, and also um, what Brandon Ayuk wants. And here's the thing with this position at the wide receiver position: you better sign them early yeah. because there are guys that are coming up, and you have to pay Jamar Chase year. this year. See, yeah. that's yeah. that's the dilemma. That's the they hurt. see he see he sees himself as the number one on that team. He's they see and that. Well, they he's see the number one talent. He's a yeah, number one talent. talent. But, but they but they see Jamar Chase being the number one. Yeah, yeah. So which he is. Yeah, yeah. But this is the thing with Jesse Bates. It happened with him. He waited all the way to September to sign um, that franchise tag, twenty one million. And you know who his agent is? T Higgins' agent is David Mulligetta, the man that gets everybody paid. Yeah. So in turn, yeah, man, I think it's a game of chicken between the player and the team. I think it's really tough to evaluate if T. Higgins is a wide receiver one, like we mentioned, because he's played alongside Tyler Boyd, mm-hmm. and then before Tyler Boyd, and well, after Tyler Boyd is Jamar Chase. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, second fiddle to that guy is a good second fiddle. I think T. Higgins doesn't want to be there anymore. He wants 21, 22 and a half million. He yeah. saw Michael Pittman get it. I honestly think that T. Higgins better is better than Michael Pittman. Yeah. And I love Michael Pittman. But who got the money to give him that, though? That Teams. Needs, that needs a wide receiver Teams. one. Who, who? Give me one. Just give me one. That would give, that would give him that. Not they need a wide receiver. They're teams that need a wide the, the Giants need to be on line one. Yeah. But the, we ain't got the money to give them. We ain't got the money to do it. Yeah, I do. No, we don't. Yeah, I do. No, we don't. If y'all cut two people. Well, we can't. Yeah, y'all can. Yeah, y'all can. Yes, y'all can. I'm telling you. Speaking of, man, listen, what I said, we potting today. How will the Buffalo Bills replace Stephon Diggs in 2024, Jeff? Yeah, they're, they're doing what's called a build a Diggs, cameraman. Mm. They're going to give it to Curtis Samuel Ugh. and Keon Cole. Mm-mm. That's Mm-mm. Mr. Build a Diggs. Khalil Shakir. Keon Cole, man. You know, Khalil Shakir is going to get a thousand this year. I put that on the damn board. Barring any injuries. Khalil Shakir, all right. And then we y'all, then we y'all do y'all little damn a fantasy draft, right? And then and it was like, man, Khalil Shakir, man, he cooking this shit. Watch, Khalil <laughs> Shakir. I wish you could see Weezy face. Will we, we, Weezy so sick? One thousand <laughs> yards this season. It kills the whole vibe of the show, man. What's today? Five twenty-four. 
He gonna get a thousand this year. Why all of a sudden you gonna get a thousand? Because and that's a great thanks for even asking me that. It's gonna take committee of wide receivers like Jeff Mitchell. Build the digs. Build the digs, right? Mm. So if you look at Stephon Diggs, he averaged right around 111 receptions, 1,300 yards every year, which is top 10 numbers, uh, cameraman, throughout his three seasons there. Khalil Shakir will be the only person on that team that has some type of chemistry with Josh Allen. In the wide receiver room. In the wide receiver room, a 1,000%. So if you look at him, he had 600 last year. Mm -hmm. Khalil Shakir will get 1,000 yards this year, without a doubt. Yeah. Come on. That's Buffalo's new number one, Khalil Shakir. And he going to kill. He got those 600 because Josh Allen prefers, which is why Stephon Diggs was traded, Josh Allen prefers to sling the ball around to everybody. Tight end here, tight end there, wide receiver here. Right? It, reason why I say build the Diggs is because there isn't going to be a wide receiver one that just stands out. They're just going to be throwing the ball to whoever's there. It's going to be a Patrick Mahomes type of thing. It's going to be him. There's always a guy that has the most. Yeah. It's not going to be Shakur. Yes, it will. I'm telling you, it's going to be him. He's the only deep threat that y'all guys have on what the team. What you got, Weezy? I don't. I don't. I I, I don't think Shakur, I don't think this kid will have a, a thousand yards. But they but they got to find another digs. They got to find another digs. But I think but it will be wide receiver, wide receiver by, by committee this year. They will throw they they'll, they'll use Kincaid a lot. Mm hmm. They'll use Knox a lot. Yeah. Kincaid a lot. Throw it, throw it out to throw it out to Cook sometimes. In the backfield, yeah. They go, he, and Josh, Josh Allen, and he'll run the ball. He's gonna, get, he's gonna get to be everything he he's gonna be put on his best Patrick Mahomes performance. He's gonna throw the ball to everybody. He's not gonna have to worry about feeding the best player on this on the team. He gets this is his team, his coach. It's all him in Buffalo. There we go. Yep. Next question, Wheezy. Can the Minnesota Vikings transition smoothly from Kirk Cousins? No. No, nah, what smoothly? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, well, Sam Darnold, JJ McCarthy. <laughs> that ain't smooth. That's the, bumps in the road. It all hinges on one person, and it's eighteen. If eighteen don't get his money, that thirty million that he wants, that team can go to hell. If I'm Justin Jefferson, I ain't mean to cut you off, If I'm Justin Jefferson, I'm on the phone with my agent right now, trying to force my way to somebody. Force my way. Yeah, so I don't want to be but, there neither. Yeah, but yeah, but they're gonna pay him a shit ton of money. They got to. They're gonna pay him. He a gonna shit get that money anywhere he go. Anywhere he go. Yeah. Tyreek Hill is the only person that was the first person to get that thirty. They had a chance to sign yeah. Justin Jefferson last year. The same thing that the uh, Cincinnati Bengals are suffering with right now with Jamar Chase. You can get him for 27, 25. They didn't sign him. Now the once you reset that market, it's yeah. over. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. Justin Jefferson got to ask for a trade. Yeah. This is not going to be a smooth transition. They're going to they're going to be one to three years of rebuild and just hot, to, hard to watch. Yeah. And if I'm Justin Jefferson, I'm not wasting that much. And, and, and it feels like dog years, dude. Yeah. Three years in NFL is almost a whole career. And no, nah, ain't no way. So you look at the $30 million guys, all wide receiver ones. Tyreek was the first. Yeah. The second person was A.J. Brown. And then last was Amon Ross St. Brown. Mm -hmm. That's the $30 million reset right there the one downside of jefferson is in a situation where you don't really know who you're getting at qb1 so in terms of him not being at otas you don't have a chance to kind of develop some type of rapport that you had with sam darnold with jj mccarthy that you had with kirk cousins so aj brown makes 30 million a year makes 30 million a year that's why i, I think yeah. it's i don't think it's 30 million I was, I'm, I'm trying to tell you that's why i'm the first receiver to be paid yeah ain't no way i'm justin jefferson i don't I'm, think it's I'm 30. Not i think it's 25 i don't think it's 30. okay ain't no way i'm supporting price is only going up so that's the brick going up. yeah man minnesota be wise to lock him up as soon as possible moving on to you easy is Will Levis ready to lead the Tennessee Titans to glory? <sighs> Man, it, it depends on the offensive line. If the offensive line keeps it up right, we'll see. But here's the thing. Here's the thing with with, with Will Levis and the Titans. This is a one-year thing. Yep. If he doesn't do it this year, they're going to come off of Will Levis and we'll get another quarterback next year. Really? Yeah, okay. because, yes, and I'm going to tell you why. I, but I, I'm gonna tell you why. That's my practice. <laughs> but I, I'm gonna tell you why, because it wasn't coach. It wasn't coach Shanahan's. I mean, uh, not, I'm saying Shanahan, but Brian uh, Kelly's guy. Uh, and that and that and that and that wasn't it wasn't his guy. That's a good point. So he's gonna see what he got. He's putting a lot of stuff around him, and then I I think they'll come off of him real quick. But because then when they ain't gotta pay him or nothing. Yeah. 
It's going to be a second year. Ah, you got a point. I didn't think about it that way because you do hire a new coach and he's not the and a head coach wants his guy. He wants his and guy. If it don't work, he'll live and die with his guy. Yeah, but if it wasn't if it wasn't my guy to go in, now nah, I feel you. Um, I, I I look at it differently. I think the Titans did enough to build that offense up. Uh, um, the Titans did enough to build their offense up around Will Levis mm-hmm. to carry them to not eight to nine, maybe ten wins this year. Woo! You put it on the board? No. Nah. You you look at their offense. You got your running back. You you lose your best one of your best players in team history, and you replace them with a good enough running back. And you also have a running back by committee with the other young kid that you had last. You got two backs. You got three receivers. You have a tight end that just needs the ball. And no, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Well, you talking about in the AFC general or the AFC South? No, dude, they they will be last in the AFC South. No, put that on board. No, I'm but trying. Nah, I didn't do too much of that. Look what I'm trying to tell y'all. Houston's gonna win that division. Okay. The Colts are gonna be second in that division, guys. Jacksonville came back to earth though. Jacksonville, Jacksonville is better than the Titans, guys. Trevor Lawrence got to prove it. No, he's in a contract. You no, know, we, you know, we split with them last year. Trevor Lawrence looking. Trevor Lawrence looking funny in the light. We split with them last year. We beat the Colts. So here's the. Th- I, I promise you that the Colts are gonna and be that, really and, good. And, at and, this and, year. and, and uh, Richardson is coming off of an injury. Man, Anthony Richardson going to cook this year, y'all. I hope so. He I hope this. so. One thing has been abundantly clear with the Tennessee Titans since they got Brian Callahan as their coach, it was all about developing Will Levis. That is number one on the list of things to do. And with Callahan as the guy, he's the self-proclaimed QB guru. So you get him in with Derek Carr, Matthew Stafford, and also he had Joe Burrow. Hell, he even made Jake Brown and look uh, feasible. Throughout the season late last year, Will Levis is by far the most inexperienced he's had minus Jake Brown. And so you got to go into a pass oriented offense. It's going to look totally different in 2024. You bring in Ridley, you got Tony Pollard. It's going to be an uphill battle. But what I'm trying to tell you, there's no way in the history of Jesus that the Tennessee Titans will win eight, ten. You said ten. Yeah, he, eight but, nine, yeah. Because Will, Will, Will Levis was sacked, well, he, he was sacked 60 times in, in six games last year. That's insane. That ain't got nothing to do with Callahan. Yeah, you probably need to look at that. But, like, what I'm saying is there's no way. I'm telling you, the Colts are going to be really good this year. We know the Texans. I think they won't be as good as they were last year. Were they 12 and 4 or 12 and 5, something like that? So, in turn, I think they'll get into a situation where it kind of levels out. They they were 10 and 7. Okay. This is what I'm saying. There's no way in the history of Jesus that that Tennessee Titans team that y'all rolling out in 2024 is going to win 10 games in that division. There's no way. Here's it's impossible. Hear me out. They play, they play an easy schedule, and they play an easy schedule, and they split. They split with Jacksonville last year. They split with Indianapolis last year. That will continue this year. Now Houston's gonna be Houston. There ain't nothing you can say about Houston. But if the, as long as you split, you got a shot. I schedule, I schedule front loaded. We had yeah. tough games early. You got all early, and you get the coach for the rest of the year. Seven wins max for that team. So if you win so seven and then you get eight, that, that could be six and, or eight. And this is what I've been trying to tell people from the beginning. Ryan Tannehill is still a free agent quarterback right now. As he should be. He is a piece of shit quarterback. I've been trying to tell y'all oh, that. God. And then on top of that, he dude, Marcus Mariota's fighting for a starting job. That's ridiculous. Ryan Tannehill that's is bad. at the that's, crib. That's bad. That's bad. That's yeah. bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Taylor Lewan's at the crib. That's bad ownership. It's no way I've been in the career for two years, bro. He don't got a left knee. It's no way. It's no reason I'm rolling uh, Mark Marks Mario out as my quarterback. Ain't no way. Moving right along to the next question, Jeff. How would the Cowboys address contract extensions for Dak? Tell you what, and Parsons. I don't want this decision. Who we? Because you, you here's the thing. You're not gonna find a, re- a receiver much better than Ceedee Lamb. Let's nope. be real. Dak Prescott. Say what you want about Dak. Serviceable. You're not gonna find a, you're not gonna find a quarterback that you don't pay fifty million dollars a year better than Dak Prescott. I think what, I know what they're trying to do. You gotta pay Michael. You gotta pay Michael Parsons. That's generational talent. That's generation. The our man out to me is going to be C.D. Lamb. Has to be. Mm. It has to be just because you. We've seen quarterbacks in this. There's a reason why there's a quarterback carousel every other year. Yeah. Because the, the quarterbacks are not really good. Yeah. Dak has showed himself to at least be serviceable. You got to keep that. And Michael Parsons, my God, is Michael Parsons. I can go give me another round two. I think th- I disagree. I think they go the total opposite way and they get rid of that. And I think they try to go get two. Two what? Yeah, two. Should do. I think that's what they do. And I put they and they put their future in two. So they got to take the 12 game last year. 
I, no, they ain't gonna take no this, trade. No, this is the last. This is the last run for this team as we know. It. This team only has a million dollars in cap space as we speak they're right now. Hell. They're in cap hell. The extension, if he's going to get one, must come first. If you don't see Dak Prescott sign within the next six to eight weeks, yeah. listen, what I'm trying to tell you, it ain't happening. Yeah. It yeah. ain't happening. Yeah, but they'll let him play the year, out and he'll be a fifty million dollar. He'll be a fifty million dollar quarterback next year to somebody. Yeah, and that'll be fine too. And I'm sure Tampa Bay. I'm sure um, what's the New England be like? Hey, because he was MVP candidate this year. Yeah, yeah. But if you look at Michael Parsons, has two years left, really one year left on that deal, yeah. and on top of that, CD Lamb can be franchise tag next season. So you don't really know what you're going to do with Dak Prescott because he can't be franchise tag next year because he, the way he set up his contract, no trade clause, no franchise tag. So barring a complete that collapse, man, that man agent deserves a raise. Hell yeah! You look at the the market again, resetting the market. Yeah, dude, Jared Goff just got fifty three million dollars a year. Exactly. Him. Exactly. I promise you, right now, Dak Prescott is as good as Jared Goff. You you being nice? I'm He's better you. than Jared Goff. I, I, Dak Prescott on, is better than Jared Goff. Come on, man. So I, I wouldn't want this decision. Yeah, that's a tough decision. Especially I, if you haven't won a Super Bowl. Dude, you're going to have to pay Dak Prescott more than you pay yeah. Jared Goff. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. There's no way I'm, I'm not signing for nothing less. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence is up for an extension. Yeah. We'll talk about two in a second here, yeah. but, <laughs> man, it's just, it's just how they blend in. This, I think this is the last of the Mohicans with this team. But how, I think how they blow it up. You yeah. got to. You yeah. have to. Yeah. They got to blow it up. Next up, Weezy, how would the Baltimore Ravens utilize Derrick Henry? They got to give him the football. But the, they got they got to get Derrick Henry. The only thing about Derrick Henry is they got to get him running early. Mm-hmm. They got to get him running early to to, to utilize his power because he, pound, he pounds you in the ground late. Mm-hmm. But, but, from, but from what I'm seeing, they're going to try to throw the ball Derrick Henry a lot at the backfield. You better not. And Go ahead. They don't want. But the Titans tried to. Titans showed it can happen. It can work. Yeah. They won't try to. It can work. Yeah, but, they, to. but they went away from him. They won't try to. You don't go. Into game, into year seven of LeBron James, and he just starts shooting threes, bro. You don't do that. That's not true. LeBron just shot his best. I said year point. seven, not year twenty one. But that's equivalent. It's no, equivalent. year seven in the NFL is the equivalent to year twenty one. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Yes, it is. LeBron's in the middle of his prime. Not about now. He just shot his so best. So you saying Derrick in the middle of his prime? Yes. Derrick Henry. That's wow. His prime. No, I'm telling you, look, dude, this man can still play at a high level. Just oh, run know. him up oh, the goddamn middle. God. Just oh, run him up the middle. I remember you saying vaguely he's a beat up car. He has too many miles on him. He do got too many miles on. Now him. all of a sudden he, but, he, he hey, still. Have you ever? That seen, is crazy, dog. But this is what I'm saying. Have you ever oh, seen somebody man. purchase a rental car? Had a lot of miles, and yeah, they still get two hundred fifty thousand miles out yeah, of it. All this shit you talking about now, but when he played for the Titans, dog, you act like he had one one game left in him. <laughs> yeah, like he had one game left in him, Jay. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, he has three, four, four, four more years left in him. Does he ever had? Has he ever played around a team that's as good as this team in Baltimore? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. His two thousand, his two thousand yard season. Absol- his offensive line, our offensive line I was that good. Team. Is it? Th- this is a Super about Bowl. The team, it, this is the offensive line. Here's the no, thing. Wait, no, y'all ain't never had a good offensive line. Yes, we dog. did. Yes, we did. No, y- y'all yes, never had a good offensive line. Yes, we did. The year, the, the year you had 2,000 yards, we had a good offense. And who was the left tackle then? You shit on him every day. Who was the left tackle Taylor then? Taylor Who was the pro ball that year? Taylor Lewan. The only pro ball. ball. Yes, he was. He was an all pro that year. That's how he got Here's how he got paid. So what I'm saying is he's never played on a team this good. All around, offense and defense. But you're saying it's, now he has more, more left in the tank. Has he ever played with a quarterback as good as Lamar Jackson, MVP? No. No. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. His, his, his peak doesn't have to be peak. Derrick Henry to be serviceable on this team, he's going to be really good. He's his league is going to, but his run is going to be way longer playing for this team. That's all I'm saying. But when he's the only show in town, of course he's going. Bro, it the, this is a fleet car. He got 170 oh thousand miles on. Derrick Henry's durable. Period. <laughs> he's been hurt the last two years. <laughs> he's been hurt the last two years. He wasn't hurt this year. He wasn't hurt. No, he wasn't injured at all. Last Derrick Henry is always injured, bro. Derrick Henry is not always injured. Okay. He's injured one year and he still had 900 yards rushing. He missed six weeks of the game. That's one year. He got you there, Jay. No, what I'm trying yeah, to tell you. That one year, he was still at, he still had I'm talking about these years. last two and three years. He was Derrick not injured. Henry was hurt last year. Bro, he was hurt last year. 
At the end of the season, they were saying, oh, well, you know, we're going to continue to play him because he wants to play. That's it. What was injured on him? What was injured on him? I watched the game. Just like like I found that A.J. Brown, the $32 million, I'm going to find that too. Move right on to the next question. Yeah, will the huh? I didn't get to say nothing about that. Oh my bad. Go ahead. Speak on Derrick Henry, brother. He gonna get fifteen hundred, and they going to the AFC Championship. Book it. Barred injury. They're going to the AFC Championship. And he gets and Lamar gets his rematch against Patrick, but they're going to the AFC Championship. Put it on the board. But Jeff, all of a sudden. I never no 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 I never I said I'd put up to Buffalo when I was still a Buffalo Bills fan I put them to the airport drive them to the practice facility I wanted the king they needed the king they needed them bad they, they I don't know why they didn't go get them. so the next question we have and I didn't even speak on Dick here but we are going a little too long let's move right along to the next one will the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback gamble pay off Jeff all right so this is tough because both of these guys should start in the NFL right to me. Russell Wilson is the guy for this year. You bring you you treat Justin Fields. You're going to, you're going to treat Justin Fields this year like New Orleans treated uh, Taysom Hill. Mm-hmm. You're going to bring in special packages throughout the game for Justin Fields. They won't do that. Tomlin well, ain't going to do that. Tomlin is the reason why Tomlin is going to do that is because both of these guys are going to should be able to start for this team, and neither one of them is going to outplay the other one bad, bad enough to where you can't look the over the other shoulder. Gotcha. Yeah. What you got, Weez? I, I think this is a real tough situation for all of them because Russell Wilson signed a what, two year deal. Yeah, one year deal. A one year deal. This is this is this is Mike. This is Mike Tomlin's final year. His contract. He'll be fine. He ain't never played. He ain't never missed the playoff. Never had a losing season. Yeah, he never had a losing season. Yeah. He, he never. He, he's missed a playoff. He's he missed a losing season. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Shit. I mean, oh, well, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying. You know what I mean? Okay. Just to get it right. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying he has a big decision. He has <laughs> a big decision to make. I, I think Russell be all right. Go but ahead. he got he got to get it right. Yeah. He can't he can't have his first losing season. They will fire you. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Tommy I, won't get fired in Pittsburgh. Yeah, they'll they, they'll let him go. They, the same way that they did with uh, Belichick. Yeah, they'll just let him walk. The they thing is, you let you let Tom to go out there. I mean, you let Russ Wilson go out there and shit the bed, and all of a sudden he has one year deal, and, Mike, and, Mike, and if they don't make the playoffs, and they don't have a good year. They'll fire him. It's not like Russ Wilson's getting paid fifty two million bucks, bro. He's getting paid eight hundred thousand dollars. He's on a rookie deal. Yeah, I, it's not about the money though. But my, it ain't about the money. It's, it, that boy wants a new contract. Yeah, but I think Russell Wilson brings that valuable experience and leadership to this squad that's needed. The thing that makes me happy about this team is that Weezy's guy Arthur Smith mm-hmm. is there, and also Russell Wilson, two guys with chips on their shoulder, size of the golden nugget. So <laughs> you got to reverse what happened in your previous situations. Still, his players have been raving about Arthur Smith's offense. Fortunes will ultimately depend on Wilson's play and that defense's capacity to play at a high level. But when we saw the best of Arthur Smith, he had a running back one that kind of looks like Najee Harris. Very similar. And Derrick Henry, like they're the same build. All right. Both went to Alabama. They run the go. same way. Both went to Alabama. They, bro, they run the exact same one way. One is Derrick Henry, one's Najee Harris, though. But he ain't never been used the right way, is what I'm saying. Yeah, even in Alabama, he wasn't Derrick Henry. Anyway, but uh, additionally, though, they brought in Patrick Queen. You bring That's in Dante game. Jackson, uh, Deshaun Elliott to bolster that already good defense with Minka Fitzpatrick. You got T.J. Watt. Um, just a high level on that defensive side of the ball. If you can find a way to get George Pickens open, you can find a way to unlock Najee Harris and also get the quarterback playing at a high level with Fryer Muth at tight end. It's a good team. It's a good team. I think they'll win a couple of games. They're well constructed. Better, yeah. Please. Next it's up, division, we have yeah. Will Tua tackle Vailoa get the $50 million per year extension yeah, he yeah. wants? Yeah. I'll roll with this one. Uh, he has all the leverage right now. Yeah. 26 years old, mm-hmm. prolonged holdout seems unlikely. He's a good guy, so he wants to make sure – that everybody likes Tua. Yeah, Tua is one of those people, just just a good human being. You can kind of tell. He could set a deadline for reaching that new deal. This was unsuccessful um, with Mike Evans last year. Mm-hmm. This is the three things he could do. Just go either way. He could force Miami to use that franchise tag in 2025. I don't think he wants to do that. Or you could force the Dolphins to offer a, which is more likely, uh, expensive contract after – Dak Prescott and other guys like Jordan Love signed their extensions. Okay. Or last but not least, Miami could totally get rid of him and replace him with a draft pick or a free agency in 2025. So 
Um, that's the only three ways that it could go. I ultimately think that they'll pay to attack of our Lord under 50, and he'll take it for 45, 46, and we'll figure it out after that. Yeah, I, I was just thinking, uh, 50 million dollars right now is a deal. It's a deal. If everybody's getting 56, 53. Yeah, it, I, 50 million is a deal. I honestly think he's better than Jerry Goff, so. Yeah, there's no way. I understand what you're saying about Tua. One, Tua is a good, good guy, mm-hmm. and he wants his teammates to get bread and you know be around and all mm-hmm. that good stuff. I don't think he plays for less than fifty million though, because because that Jared Goff contract set the new standard. It did. Da- Daniel Jones got forty million for guys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, he's better than him. And he's better than Daniel Jones and Jared Goff. And, and yeah. yeah, okay, I'll yeah. say it. Yeah. yeah. My only concern, mm-hmm. my only concern, is Tua is saying. That he's coming into camp fifteen to twenty pounds lighter than he was last year. Okay, that concerns me. You you say that concerns you about every quarterback. You said that about well every quarterback. Here's why I said about Tua. Tua gained muscle mass and start taking uh, martial arts to learn how to fall. Now I'm not trying to be funny, cameraman. I know you're laughing over there. You didn't I'm, even laugh, though. but I'm just because I'm what I'm about to say. Mm-hmm. He start learning how to fall and gain muscle mass because of what happened the year prior to that. Yeah. Now, losing that muscle mass and losing that weight because he wants to run more, that scares me because we know that boy don't need to be taking no more hits. He'll be, he'll you, know, you know they can, wear the, <laughs> they can wear the big shell this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody playing in that. Wait, they can play? Oh, he needs to play in that. And but, I have to see. But my thing is, I'm so serious. My thing is, that, why, why are they practicing if they're not going to play in it? Well, that's you just, you don't want to you don't want to get nobody in a concussion. In uh, practice. Not in, in practice. In practice, yeah. yeah. I Derrick, think that's need to be. I'm yeah, sorry, Jack. Derrick Henry didn't practice the first eight weeks because yeah. of a concussion. I think that needs to be standard in football, like period. Now, like people needs to people need to wear that. You said practice, bro. He played. You said he wasn't injured, dog. You said he wasn't injured. He was he on would, a concussion protocol for eight weeks, man. If if he was a concussion protocol for eight weeks, he wouldn't have played. If I'm trying, to he say. wouldn't have played. Am I not? Am I not? They, they don't play about if 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 there's any certain thing about on the head injury, you wouldn't have played. That's what I'm talking about with Tua. Yeah. Like he's he's going back to the size and the mass that he was when we thought he was d- done. He got to get lighter though. He got to get lighter though. He had to get. You got to be able to get sturdy, man. He can't oh, get sturdy. We saw him. We saw his. He was cripping gotcha. on the court on the field. You. Yeah. Let's move right along to the man. last question. Can the New York Jets build around Aaron Rodgers, Weezy? They better. They did. Mm-hmm. I, I honestly think the Jets will be a playoff team this year. I honest, the Jets are loaded. Yeah, they were loaded. Like Brees Hall. He didn't play Wilson. a game. Jeff. He played four I'm snaps. Saying. Played two. Actually, two snaps. It was two snaps. Yeah, Brees Hall, Gary Wilson. They got tight end. They got a good defense. I think just all if Aaron Rodgers is if anything of himself. I yeah. think I think I think they're a playoff team. I really do. Absolutely, Absolutely. right. Yeah, good. Absolutely. No, this it, it's perfectly said. They were set up. They were positioned to win last year, and unfortunately, on national TV, second play of the game after running out on the field with the flag, Aaron Rodgers pops his Achilles. Yeah. Right. And then you and then for somehow Zach Wilson comes back in, and somebody saw Zach Wilson think he should start in wherever he's at right mm-hmm. now. Denver. Wow. wow. So yeah, I, they, they can build. They've built around him. They can continue to build around him. They draft well. They have they have the, the pillars. They have a wide receiver one. They have a running back, mm-hmm. tight end, and a great defense. That's wins football. Yeah, I mean you bring in you bolster that defensive line. You bring in Javon Kinlaw, got John Simpson, got Tyron Smith, Olu Fashanu on the offensive line. That is the main problem right there. They were getting cooked on the offensive line. You make sure you build around that offensive line. And you bring in real threats, Mike Williams, and I think a guy that's going to be the Puka Nakua of the 2024 uh, draft class, Malachi Nelson. Man, I mean, excuse me, not Malachi Nelson, Malachi Corley is going to kill for the Jets. Good pick. Play for Western Kentucky. He was a dog there. Um, these new additions. Was a receiver? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's just one of those things, man. With this team, can they win the East? Hell yeah, they can win the East. It's between them, Miami. And Miami, Buffalo going to come in third in this one, unfortunately. I mean, I, I, yeah. Buffalo defense is still Buffalo's defense. Absolutely. Uh-uh. Not really. You know what they, 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 they front the whole, seven. Lost yeah. the whole secondary. Whole secondary cooked. Yeah. But they got my boy. They got 24 yeah, yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. But, they, but, but, long they, but they can rush the quarterback. They can rush the quarterback. Yeah, they can't rush the quarterback. As long as you put pressure on the quarterback. And they got linebacker. Milano, Milano comes back off the injury. Yeah. Milano got to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't said enough about that contract. Vaughn got to play. Yeah, man. But nah. The two best teams on paper yeah, the are Jets, the Jets and the Dolphins. And the Dolphins, and the Dolphins for Dolphins. sure. Yeah. And that is our OTA rundown. We'll be back during the uh, training camp yeah. to kind of see what's going on there. Because some of these questions will be answered um, at the start of training camps. There still is like some some decent free agents out there that could be impacted. No, it's not. No, it's not. We're talk, we we going along because I'll yeah. be up, but it's still some it's some players out. Oh man, they'll still be sitting in their free agent. <laughs> man, let me get them. I know you'll get them <laughs> for a year. You get them for a year. We gotta finish our game, dog. We gotta play there. It's still out there. It's still out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah we gotta play there, especially before college game because it's Ooh, over with with college. Nah, but now nah, it's gonna be over with before that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get the PS5 and play college. Give me a PS5. You gonna join the league? You ain't got a TV big enough to play. What you oh, gonna do? Put it outside. My God. <laughs> he didn't just say that, did he? <laughs> Damn. Tell him, Weezy. I'm saying you can buy one. How many daddy got a bank roll? I don't, don't got to buy one. I got one. <laughs> That tunes the questions throughout the week at Full Sport Press. Don't forget to comment, give us a thumbs up on the YouTube page, on the iTunes page. Please rate, subscribe, and more important, don't forget to tell a friend. To tell a friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tell a friend. Weezy. Everything paid for, man. Easy. Even the big screen. Easy. Even the big screen. Easy. For about for about 10 years now. Yeah, talk to a Weezy. Everything been paid. Jeff. Cameron's always on, brother. Cameraman. Cameraman, he said I ain't got a TV. To, I ain't got TV big enough to play uh to he play mad right. now. That's what he said. <laughs> don't tell him that. I don't tell him that. I've been having about six years now. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, if you bought it six years ago, that bitch, yes. you, you need what? to get a new one. It's what? Guess what? <laughs> Cameraman the Revolution will be podcast and we are out. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Full Sport Press Podcast. To catch up on previous episodes, please check out the YouTube page and wherever you find your favorite podcast. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. The Revolution will be podcasted. Full Sport Press. J Ho. Check us out each and every Monday. The Revolution will be podcasted. The Revolution will be podcasted.